Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a really cool thing with your 3D printer. I'm going to show you how to pause a print, mid print, and change filament color. So there are some fancy ways of doing this through your slicer, but I'm going to show you the quick and easy, kind of dirty way to switch filament mid print. And we'll get to it right after this. So before we get going on this printing video, I thought we'd do another beer tasting. So again, we have another IPA. This is Zombie Dust. This is from a brewery in Indiana. Uh, they're in Munster, Indiana. They're from. They're called Three Floyds Brewery. They make some very good beer. So this is a very sought after beer in the area where I'm at. Used to, you almost couldn't find Zombie Dust. Now it's becoming a little bit easier to find. Gotta drink zombie dust out of a glass. Oh, it smells real good. Really piney, grapefruity. Oh man, that's good beer. Look at all those chunks floating in that beer. I'm a big fan of unfiltered beer, especially IPAs. All right guys, well, let's get to this filament change. Okay guys, so I am at just the first layer on this print that I'm making. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do a quick, easy, and dirty filament change. Now I am hooked via Octopi or Octoprint. So this is the interface I'm gonna be using to show you how to do this. So a couple things you wanna keep in mind. We're gonna be adjusting the Z height after we pause. And we need to remember exactly how many times we clicked it and how high it went because after we do the filament change, we're going to need to lower the Z-axis back to where it goes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit pause. Hit paused. I'm going to go up here to my Z and I'm going to hit Z twice. Okay, so my Z-axis is now raised. Now I'm gonna do a really quick filament change. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is your stepper motor is gonna be locked at this point. So I'm gonna pull my lever, and I'm just gonna pull my filament right out of my hot end. Grab a new roll of filament here. So I'm gonna just feed this purple filament right back into my extruder. And remember, your stepper motor is going to be locked, so you will not be able to turn your extruder knob to change your filament like this. And now we're just going to feed the, tube, the filament all the way down the tubing to our hot end. I can see that it's oozing out a little bit. So now that it's oozing out, I'm going to go ahead and reach in there with my brush and clean the filament off of there. Snip this little blob that it made. And now I'm going to go back into my computer and finish the print. So if you guys remember, we raised the Z-axis up twice, so now I'm going to push down twice. And now I'm going to hit resume print. Now, you guys will notice I still do have a bit of a blob here, which doing, it, doing this the quick and cheap, easy way, it's going to cause issues like this. And as you can tell, my color hasn't changed over yet from the white. There are a lot better ways of doing this through Curo where you can actually pause on layers and such a lot more complicated ways to do it. This is just a really quick, easy, dirty way to do this. So guys, I'm gonna take a moment to pause real quick on this video and announce the winner of our contest from two weeks ago. So two weeks ago, I did a video and I announced that I was gonna do a contest that I was gonna give away some pneumatic uh, coupler upgrades 
for the Ender 3 Pro or the Ender 3 and also some yellow bed springs for the Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. I had one person that commented on that video since two weeks ago. So the person that commented, the first comment, and the only comment that did subscribe, I already verified, his name is Robert Monier. So Robert Monier, you have won. And since you is the only person that commented, I went ahead and won up the prize a little bit. So not only are you going to get the yellow bed springs and the upgraded pneumatic couplers, I'm also hooking you up with a piece of Capricorn pneumatic tubing for your filament. So this is already pre-cut the length. That's the correct length for your printer if you have an Ender 3 or an Ender 3 Pro. So all you're going to do is take off your stock tube, replace it with this. I hooked you up with a little Capricorn swag here. You're going to get your pneumatic couplers. You're going to get your bed springs. And I'm also hooking you up with a data-only cable in case you run OctaPrint or OctaPi or plan on doing it in the future. So I'm going to PM you, get all your info, and I'm going to get this mailed out to you, all right? Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. And I appreciate the comment, man. So now if we look at this, guys, you can see that I plainly went from the white that I was printing to the silk purple. Not perfectly, not without any issues. You can see that I've got this little blob going on right here. I don't know if that's showing up in the camera. So like I said, not perfect. A lot better ways to do it. This is just a quick little easy way for you guys to try a quick film and swap and change if you're working on something that's not very important. You know, just something for fun if you want to try it, just to do something different. So guys, that does it for this week's video. I'm going to go ahead and have a, another sip of our Zombie Dust IPA beer. Oh, really good beer. If any of you guys are beer fans or IPA fans, shoot me a message down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite beers or IPA beers are. I'll see if I can't source them here in my area and maybe do a tasting on one of my videos. I can give a shout out to you as well, maybe even to your channel. So if that's something you're interested in, just shoot me a link down in the comments. So I also wanted to say about this video, again, this is the quick, easy, dirty way to do a filament change. I'm by no means saying that this is the correct way to do it. The right way to do it would be to edit your G-code, Encura, or your slicer of choice, do a filament swap, move it over to a park position. This is just a quick, easy, dirty filament change just to show you guys something you can try, maybe for fun. So it's been fun. You guys take it easy, and we'll see you next time.